I for today's tear down this uh, big mystery box of Soviet electronics. So I got it with the other ones on uh, eBay. It was uh, 12 euros, I believe. You can see it is just written uh, BU as model number, a cyan number on the white. Two connectors uh, provided with uh, plastic caps, original uh, Soviet plastic caps, so it is quite nice. The connectors are the kind with a glass insulator, so you can actually see through the insulator inside the, the connector. You can see the wires and the heat shrink around them. So usually you see this kind of connectors onto uh, battle tank equipment. Here there is uh, just a cap with a hole to uh, release any pressure or vacuum inside the module and apart from this it is a box like this for uh, attachment points at the corners grounding screw all here and bolts all around uh, they were provided except uh, uh, one missing maybe i will replace them with uh, better ones i do not know it is not a big emergency but i might do it because they are a little bit rusty, at least I will apply some oil on them before I close them for storage. So I will now undo all the bolts and we will discover what we have inside. So, what do we have in here? Nothing. Damn. Well, at least nothing in the back cover, except some uh, welds in the aluminium on the seal. Pretty well made. And give some focus problem to my camera. But here, here is what we have. A stack of three circuit boards. I can immediately spot uh, a lot of uh, multi-turn trimmers. This uh, backlight, number ton of backlight spacers between the boards. Handwritten part numbers. This handwritten this screen if you want. Here the two connectors with a grounding point. And all the wires, excuse me, really. Like this. So I guess the first step is to undo the screws. It will allow to separate the boards apparently. Yes, long screws like this. Six of them, they are not tight, luckily enough. Really not tight. I have absolutely no idea what it is from. Totally it might be a craft, might be my side, might be a spacecraft, maybe battle tank. No information whatsoever. So, what do we have on these boards? We can see the on marking here. So, the first one. Apparently, mostly uh, big resistors and a whole bunch of uh, relays. This model here, RES uh, 47. This model here, and you can see these small relays here actually. It is quite rare because they have uh, 
relay is designed to be mounted vertically on a circuit board with uh, pins, but they did instead mount them horizontally. So is it because of uh, thickness uh, considerations? I do not believe because it's uh, actually not thicker than this uh, stands here. So it's cool to have fit uh, vertically, but instead they did apply them horizontally on the board, glued with uh, some kind of uh, U-shaped plastic or bakelite piece and uh, actually glued with epoxy and uh, connected with a bunch of wires. So why would you do it? I have no idea. Because if you want them not to move, you can always uh, design another kind of holder and uh, apply also epoxy all around or something like this. And you can see actually most of the parts on this board are secured with uh, holders and uh, epoxy. The transistors here also, the resistors, the big ones. This capacitor on the back has also epoxy. The orange one here. So quite interesting. Uh, as other parts, we have these big flat, probably silver mica capacitors, some uh, round ices, seems to be a 12 pin, 140UD1B, dead code of 1980. And he has a whole bunch of these uh, precision trimmers which are bolted here to the circuit board. So I believe the other layer will be more or less the same, except here we have more of everything. Ah, interesting construction here with these capacitors, you can see, stuck together like this. Not uh, something you see every day. Really nice uh, construction and more overlays here with uh, the same design. A lot of them actually. And these are uh, precision resistors. I believe you can see how the wires are uh, connected to the board directly with uh, little numbers on them. So really, really nice, nice board, but where the design with this relay is. The last one, a little bit less crowded, but the same kind of stuff. So seems we actually have a whole bunch of uh, relays which are uh, controlled with either transistors or some kind of ICs, and some adjustments for them. So is it a multi-channel control thing? No idea. Uh, you cannot hear uh, when seems to be a model number on the board. Here also, and written. Well, exactly the same kind of parts. Except that for some reason, actually, you can see the PCB material on this one is different than the two other ones. It is a lot brighter. So was it replaced at some point? Actually, it is possible because you can see the conformal coating here. But you can see they did uh, reapply here conformal coating. And it looks like, it might look like the solder joints here were uh, reworked. So maybe they did actually replace this board and this one is newer. But given the dead codes, we have the same dead codes than the other one. Or maybe it is just coming from a different factory or a different batch of uh, PCB material. Quite uh, interesting. And here you just have the back of the plate, cover plate with uh, standoffs bolted in it. The wires going to the 
connectors, ground point, and you can see how they did secure the wires here with these posts. And uh, well secured on them, quite interesting, very thick plate here. Handwritten uh, designations here also. Everything is handwritten on this board except for the uh, board uh, number here and here. So why they did not uh, do everything like this? I have no idea. And also, yes, quite a thick conformal coating. A lot of these ICs with gold legs. So there are actually on YouTube a lot of uh, Russian scrappers that uh, take apart uh, all the Soviet equipment for the gold and precious materials. I have a playlist with uh, some of their interesting videos, not for the gold retrieval content, but for the take apart content of uh, old Soviet stuff. Check the playlist, it is linked, it will be in the video description box. Really nice stuff to see. Okay, so I will put this back together and put this back in storage. Nice uh, specimen at least of uh, Soviet electronics. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, bye bye.